this card because I like the environment that I'm in. You're around people that are here because they want to be here, they're happy, they want to stay healthy, fit, and I'm here to help them out. And I like being in an area where people are happy and, and they want to be doing this. You know, it's not like retail, we have people that are buying things or at a club where people are getting drunk and just all that negative energy. Here you're around people who are happy and fit and just living a good lifestyle. My name's Travis. Uh, I've been swimming for about eight years on and off. Uh, did training with the County State Beaches for Junior Lifeguards. And then uh, following that, I ended up getting a lifeguard job here at the Y. And uh, been a lifeguard for about four years. Uh, been in the Junior Olympics about four times. Four times, yep. And um, was about four and a half seconds off from qualifying for a 50 meter freestyle for the Olympics. Uh, the last Olympics, um, and uh, that's about it. Let's go, guys! Let's go! Uh, hey, I'm Dan. I've been a lifeguard for about six years on and off. I started lifeguarding in uh, my hometown in coastal Rhode Island because it was the coolest summer job that you could have there. And uh, it's kind of been sustaining me when I needed uh, for the past six or seven years and uh, you know it's a chill job it's boring but uh, you know it pays the rent hi I'm Beth and I'm a swim instructor here at the YMCA and I've been teaching for about 40 some years hundreds of kids Literally hundreds and hundreds, and uh, I love it. I love it. Hi, I'm Lawrence. I'm a lifeguard for 30 years. I've been involved in lifeguarding ever since 1981. I became involved with lifeguarding by way of a swim team participant. I swam at a local swimming pool. One of my friends who was on the swim team said, "Hey, Lawrence, why don't you become a lifeguard?" I became a lifeguard. In the process uh, and in the years of being a lifeguard, I've coached swim teams, springboard diving teams. I currently coach a high school swim team and a high school water polo team on the boys level and on the girls level. And lifeguarding has been a whole new world to me simply because of my ability to stay fit, stay in contact with others who are fit and helping others to become fit and live in an aquatic oriented lifestyle. Uh, my name is Nick and I became a lifeguard because I love swimming. I don't know why I became a lifeguard. I think the reason I became a lifeguard is because of the hot guys. I became a lifeguard because I like to swim, it's easy money, and because of the girls. Why did I become a lifeguard? I became a lifeguard because I love to swim. I love to put myself in danger to save people. I love teaching little kids. It's, it's my passion. I've taught somewhere in the area 50 to 60 kids how to swim, and it just makes myself feel better knowing that I've passed this hobby on to younger people. Hi, I'm Claire Bauer, and I was on the swim team and water polo team in high school. And I decided to become a swim instructor because it is a continuation of my life's quest to teach the world how to swim correctly because I don't think enough people, especially adults, know how to swim. So I want to be able to teach them that at a young age so they'll be good to go when they're adults. <laughs> okay, uh, to me, uh, it's not about the credentials, it's more about Teaching swimming is when, when, when you teach somebody swimming and they learn how to swim, it's a different feeling. It's something that you cannot, you, you cannot achieve unless you're teaching. It's a special feeling. My name is Jane Lee and I've been a lifeguard close to three years. And I graduated from LA City Lifeguard Rookie School about a year and a half ago. I work at the East Valley. I am um, a swim instructor, aquafit coach. I help organize like a swim meet with the West Valley swim team, and also um, that was aquafit 
this versus West Valley. And also, um, last year I was a junior lifeguard instructor. And in the morning time, I work at the city college pool with the college student. Um, in 2011, I think I teached about over 100 students there, college students there. As for kids, I teach all levels. That's that, my afternoon job at the East Valley. That, I can't even count how many kids I teach because it's all levels. Um, the reason I'm doing this is I love the water and I love to swim. Hi, my name is Jason. I've been a lifeguard now for 22 years. And I had the opportunity to do two uh, rescues where CPR was involved. And I had to do mouth-to-mouth uh, -mouth resuscitation. The first instance was a gentleman at a pool who was swimming laps and had a heart attack in the water. I had to get in, pull him to the side of the pool and up onto the pool deck. And I performed CPR there. Successfully, and that individual lives. Hey, my name is Christy. I've been a lifeguard for nine years now. Um, lifeguarding, being trained in CPR and all of the lifeguarding skills, I've actually used them more in real life than I have as a lifeguard. I've had two really se severe rescues in those nine years, like that required CPR, but I've also worked and helped in uh, car crashes. I've helped in three different car crashes that have required CPR. Um, pulling, uh, pulling people out of cars, um, doing a general assessment and then rescue breathing plus full CPR until the ambulance came. Um, and if those are skills I wouldn't have had if I hadn't been a lifeguard. And it's, it's rare that that kind of incident happens in the pool, but you have to be ready for it. And it's, it's also rare that they happen in real life, but you know what makes me a better person than other. My adult rescue was probably about a year ago, and uh, he was about 25 years old. He got a muscle cramp in the deep end, and he started going under. And I reacted quick, ran over, dived, dove in, picked him up, brought him out, all within maybe 15 seconds. Um, another child one was a little three-year-old child was in the shallow end. He went underneath out of his, or his um, floating device, went right underneath, wasn't even guarding that day. Jumped in, my, gla my, my eyeglasses fell off, all of my clothes, grabbed them, pulled them out. That was that. I've uh, made a few rescues in my career as a lifeguard. Uh, they've all been in the ocean, they've never been in a pool. Uh, usually people get stuck in rip currents and they think that they can swim towards the shore, but it's just like they're swimming on a treadmill, they're not going to go anywhere, they're just going to get tired out and eventually panic and drown. So what they have to do to get out of a rip current is instead of swimming towards the shore, they got to swim parallel to the shore to get out and then swim in. Rescues. Um, I had a couple jump-ins. One incident of um, rescue is in front of my supervisor and the kid's parent. Um, one of the girls was holding her sister down under the water because she couldn't tread water so she could stay up to get air. So immediately jumped in and got her out. I had a couple other jump-ins. but the, At a city college, I jumped in with my clothes on and my shoes and everything to get this girl out. Our, our quote is this, take action first and question later. Bam. In my second rescue involving uh, CPR, it was someone that was actually playing in basketball upstairs. So by the time I'd gotten there, he'd fallen, cut his eye, there was a lot of blood, it was a whole scene. Uh, had a glove up, 
kind of clean them up, uh, and then start performing CPR. Uh, it was incredibly how everyone around me was panicking, but I remained calm. It just came to me in my head immediately what to do. Um, I didn't have to think too much about it. It just really came very quickly to me. I remained calm. Um, paramedics showed up within about five minutes. Um, they carted him off, worked on him in the uh, ambulance. Later I learned he did pass. Um, that's the way, unfortunately.